Welcome to Industrial Bites, a collection of bite-sized conversations from the industrial world. Join Industry 4.0 thought leaders at Honeywell as they explore industry IoT connected technology, big data, and more. Listen to them take on topics that are reshaping the way the world works. Now, let's tune in. Today we explore digital transformation in the oil and gas industry, how you can lead an entire organization. Oil and gas includes the global processes of exploration, extraction, refining, transporting, and marketing of petroleum products. This industry, the lifeblood of the modern world, is transforming at a rapid pace with legacy systems and processes being replaced by connected technology and industry IoT solutions. Joining us is Sandeep Chandran, Chief Marketing Officer at Honeywell Industrial Solutions, who will especially focus on transformation in this industry with emphasis on how you can be a change agent. What I'm passionate is about the application of technology in our daily lives. The same applies for me in my professional life. While I was doing my master's late 90s, I was focused on fuzzy logic and neural network. We were trying to use all available information, all available levers to optimize production at a phosphate facility. We knew that the target was a stretch. We knew that technology was not there, but it was the future. The initiative was bold, the outcomes uncertain. We didn't get where we wanted, but I did get out with a master's degree. Sandeep, you have the industry background and seen it evolve. We've been hearing about the promise of digital transformation for a while now. Not a week goes by when there is not even something on digital. You've also interacted with customers globally, has seen some of these initiatives firsthand. What is your take on digitization? Let's take a step back and review some of the terms that you have used in your question. You use the terms digitization and digital transformation interchangeably. There is a difference between two words. There is digitization and digitalization on one hand, which has to do with transformation of data and processes. While on the other hand, we talk about digital transformation, which is a business strategy that combines the various digitalization initiatives that you have going on in your organization for better business outcomes. Let me give you an example in real life. In the process industry, we have a lot of manual processes. We still use pen and paper, believe it or not, in this day and age. Case in point is an activity called inspection rounds, where a field operator goes out into the field and he prints out a checklist and walks around and makes notes, uh, he, he makes observations. This is an activity that is ripe for digitization where you can do a similar activity using a mobile device or a tablet. A field operator does much more than just check off his checklist. He walks around, takes readings, takes measurements from various stranded equipments that are out there in the field. These are called stranded equipments because the data is not automatically captured into a control system or a historian. Digitalization in this context would be, if we were to use some of these measurements, the data that the field operator captures, say the decibel levels of the environment around a compressor, and use it as feed, as input, into your machine learning algorithms, your deep learning algorithms to predict the health of the equipment. Here we are using digitalization, we are improving the process using digital data that has been captured through a simple activity like an operator round. So what is digital transformation then? So digital transformation is a business strategy that combines a number of such digitalization initiatives in a cohesive way and the end goal is to have a step change in your business outcomes. These could be better reliability, better predictability, higher throughput, higher safety, or even managing your energy consumption and carbon footprint. So tell me about the transformation portion of digital transformation. What makes it transformative? Let me take an example from the consumer world and then draw the analogy to the industrial world. In process industries, where we are today in our journey is what the consumer world has experienced and overcome in the last 15 to 20 years. Take smartphone for an example. We have, all of us have smartphones. We have a whole bunch of applications that we use on our smartphones. 
Some of these applications have become verbs in a normal life. We say, let's take an Uber. So the common applications that we all use include Uber, Airbnb, Spotify. These have all enriched and made our lives productive. But you can think of each one of these applications as a digitalization activity of one of our life functions. And how we put these applications together in a meaningful way is how we can make our lives richer, make us more productive and efficient. So this is an example where we have a personal strategy towards a digital transformation journey. Now the same example doesn't apply as eloquently in the industrial world. In the process industry, we are at the early stages of digital transformation. We have a variety of applications, point solutions as we call it, which is meant to solve certain business functions very effectively. To take an example from refining, we have a process engineer that uses a variety of simulation models. We have a yield accountant who uses concepts of material and mass balance. We have a lab technician who uses a LEM system. We have a planner who uses a concept of linear programming. Now each of these solutions are best in breed. They do their functions extremely well. So each of these activities have been digitalized already. When we talk of digital transformation, it's how we combine all these digitalized work processes, work activities, grab insights from all these applications holistically together to make a step change in the overall business outcome of an enterprise. Let's think about that for a second. You mentioned many companies. How are companies thinking about digital transformation programs? I would like to answer this question by enumerating a few points that makes us believe that what we're seeing out there in the industry is positive. These are the data points that allow us to accelerate what we're doing in our world to help our customers go down this path of digital transformation. Firstly, like I mentioned, digital transformation are strategic initiatives. They need support from the highest levels of the organization. A chairman or the CEO has to be the sponsor for such activities. A few years back, we conducted a survey in the Middle East. Uh, this was probably in 2018. The outcome of this poll was about 60 to 70 percent of the senior executives indicated that they already have or will be having plans around digital transformation as part of their strategic initiatives. Secondly, in the recent past, we have seen the conversation shift from planning for such activities to actual execution of such activities. There has been a lot of proof of values, a lot of POCs, where the focus is not on the activity itself, but what is the, va what is the value, what is the benefit that comes out of these activities. Case in point is, is a recent announcement from uh, Abu Dhabi National Oil Company in the, in the United Arab Emirates. They launched a program late last year, uh, around November timeframe, called the Centralized Predictive Analytics and Diagnostics Program. This is an enterprise program that covers all the brownfield facilities as an enterprise. It covers upstream, it covers downstream, and it covers uh, midstream. The number of equipments that are the, under the purview of this program is in the hundreds and thousands. This program has a patronage of the chairman of the Adnog Group. The amount of organizational change and people transformation that are required is immense for the success of such programs. Let's look into the future. Greenfield projects. These are projects that are coming out uh, in the future. They'll go live in the next three to five years. A lot of these projects have got the, the values and the benefits and the promise of digital transformation already baked into them. The economics of such projects can be justified only by incorporating such programs. The organizational design, the, the change is already baked into these programs as is reflected by the skill set and the personnel that are required to operate these facilities. What I'm told by some of my friends in the engineering and construction world is that these facilities have been designed with pathways for robots to do, to, to do activities that typically would have been done by human beings. So that's a refinery, that's the plant of the future we're talking about. Finally, one last point. In the past, technology adoption has been a challenge. The cost of 
implementing these transformations uh, and maintaining such, uh, such solutions have been immense, that only the best of the best companies with infinite resources would have undertaken. And that too, the benefits have been questionable. But as we talk about the future, as we talk of digital transformation, it's the advances in technology that are making it possible. Even the smallest of the operators are able to adopt, use these technologies, and get started on this journey towards digital transformation. So what we're seeing is the democratization of data, the dem democratization of technology that will help the entire industry to progress as a result of this. What are some of the challenges that is hindering progress? Outside of the maturity of technology, which seems to be the topic of conversation, uh, be it uh, analytics, deep learning, machine learning, augmented, uh, artificial intelligence, virtual reality, these are all the technologies that have been packaged together when we talk of digital transformation. But there are some other points that comes up, typically later down the stage, when we progress towards this journey of digital transformation. First and foremost among it is data. So we talk of data, we talk of data as, uh, as a new oil in the oil and gas industry. And that's because as we talk of digital transformation, as we talk of partners coming together to evolve this industry, the question of data ownership comes up. The question of data privacy comes up. Cybersecurity is a big topic that is uh, ever present in such discussion. And usually it's a blocker because no company wants to release its data outside its premises. But as we talk of an enterprise level solution, as we talk of industry knowledge to help accelerate digital transformation, we need to f figure out policies that get us past these blockers. And these policies are constantly evolving. They are driven by the, the, the industry, they are driven by the organization, the appetite for risk, even regional and government policies in a country. The second aspect around digital transformation, which again is typically an afterthought beyond technology, is the human element. Change management, organizational design, and uh, upskilling our skills uh, to use these new technologies in the way it is meant to needs to be part of conversation as we talk of digital transformation. Taking our people along right from the beginning on this journey is as critical as technology that we select to do this process. Finally, we talk of an ecosystem of partners that will help us in this digital transformation journey. The question here is how well are these partners able to play with each other who are traditionally competitors in this space. There is a realization after a lot of trial and errors that there is no one solution out in the market that can meet the needs, that can meet the expertise that is uh, required to completely digitally transform. In other words, there is no one common strategy that exists because it's, it's very dependent on the company or the organization. And to, to cater to that, you need an ecosystem of partners which will evolve as the strategy evolves. When we talk about Honeywell, there's an opportunity here to talk about the great connector, the leader in the digital transformation journey. Honeywell is a large multinational serving a variety of industries with a large base of customers. And we can presume all these customers will be having some sort of digital transformation or some transformational program underway. What is Honeywell doing to help these customers digitally transform? We have great technologies around process licenses that the majority of the refineries in the world today use and benefit from. From an operational perspective, safe, reliable operations are guaranteed by the control systems that we have in place in, uh, in majority of the facilities that are out there. And then we have software applications, applications that help operate these facilities at peak performance. We ensure that they are reliable, they are safe, and they are efficient in their operations. We see the physical world as a continuous interaction between process, asset, and humans, the people side of the equation. On the process side, based on the process technology know-how that we have, we have built high-fidelity digital twins that monitors physical processes in real time using the real-time data. What this helps us do is provide advisories and actions that an engineer or an operator can take depending on the situation that he's seeing in the plant. And this is live today. We have customers actually using these systems. Digital twins can monitor the real-time health of an equipment 
Competency is a critical part. We've had training simulators to help train our operators to operate these facilities. But as we look into the future, newer ways of upskilling our people using technologies that are out there, be it artificial reality, augmented reality, having operators train on demand based on what they lack in their skill set rather than a structured training curriculum is where we're going after. Unlike the past, the platforms that we've built today, Hannibal Forge, for example, is open in its architecture, which implies we can have partners build solution on it. There is so much knowledge that Honeywell brings to the table. So let's talk about partners and the partner ecosystem. How is Honeywell working with these partners? At Honeywell, we have strong expertise. We have strong domain expertise in certain aspects of the industry. Just take downstream, for example. We have process knowledge. We have operational knowledge. We have years of engineering expertise. We know the use of data. We know the value that data, data adds for safe, reliable operations. We also know the new technologies that will help us enhance the value that this data, uh, data brings to the table. But there is other aspects of engineering. There are other aspects of domain, technology, data, that is beyond the expertise of Honeywell, which is required for digital transformation. And this is where we will be relying on our partners. For accelerating digital transformation in pharmaceuticals, we are partnering with Big Finite. Big Finite is a company that specializes in big data, artificial intelligence, in a heavily regulated industry like pharmaceutical. So we do need our partners to bring their knowledge, to bring the advances that we have made to help accelerate the overall pace of transformation in the process industry. So let's talk about that crystal ball real quick. Let's look ahead. What does the future hold? What I see is a facility that is autonomous. This is a factory of the future where your mundane tasks, your routine activities are done by robots. We'll have minimal manning. It'll have very few personnel that are required on the site. Competency will be measured on a continuous basis. We will have the mechanism to get feedback and put training interventions using advanced technologies like artificial reality. We'll have algorithms that will be running continuously. Real-time data being fed seamlessly to simulate multiple scenarios of an operating facility, come out with the ideal outcomes, and eventually execute those parameters out in the field. All this is what will make every day of production the best day of production, and every worker your best worker. Now this is not a far-fetched vision that we're talking about. This is something that is closer to reality than what we think. The last 20 years will be very different from the next five years. So these are exciting times in the industry. I am looking forward to these next five years where we'll see a lot of these technologies come to life, a lot of adoption happening in the industry and moving us further in this phase of digital transformation. You're listening to Industrial Bites, a collection of bite-sized conversations from the industry world. Honeywell Forge is an enterprise performance management for operation technology that will improve the way a variety of companies collect, analyze, and act on data from their operations. The software solution leverages Honeywell's more than 100 years of experience in asset and process control technology and will transform the way work gets done by owners and operators of buildings, airlines, industrial facilities, and other critical assets and infrastructure. We welcome your thoughts, opinions, and feedback. Leave us a comment and we will be sure to respond. To learn more, go to Honeywell.com. Thank you for tuning in.